Hi, this is my tutorial on how to make a soother clip using cam snaps. So the equipment that you're going to need is a clip. So this is the clips that are actually available um, from cam snaps. They're a plastic clip, locking clip. So there, you'll need some snaps. So here I have two caps, one socket, and one stud. Scissors, 7 eighths inch grizz grain ribbon, which is available basically anywhere that you can get craft supplies. And then I have my awl tool and my snap uh, pliers from Cam Snaps. So to start out, we're going to measure the length of our pin. We don't want the ribbon to be, when it's all completed, we don't want the length of the clip to be longer than 8 inches as for safety reasons. So I generally cut my ribbon to 10 inches, thereabouts, to start with. So now I have a length of ribbon. Okay, so once we have our length of ribbon cut, we want to stop the edges here from fraying. So the easiest way to do that is just to cut any strings that are there very close. And then just take a regular lighter and just run it along the edge until you can see the edge start to curl up. And that's going to seal that so that it doesn't fray. We want to do that on both sides. There we go. So now you can see the edge is sealed. So now we're going to attach our clip. And so we're just going to feed that ribbon through there. I'm going to smooth it out. And we're going to fold that edge that we melted. We're going to fold that under and match it up so that the edges are nice and straight. And we can put a pin in there. Just to hold it while we sew. So I'm just going to use my sewing machine. I'm just going to do a straight stitch right along that seam that we just made. So right as close to the fold as I can. Okay, so we've got the clip attached. It's nice and secure. And now we need to do something with the other side as well, because we don't want that rough edge sticking out. So again, I'm just going to fold that under, and then I'm going to fold it one more time, so that I'm encasing that edge. And I'm going to throw another stitch in there. Okay, so now that I have my edges finished and my clip attached, I'm going to simply attach my snap. So I'm going to fold this over to the length that I want. And again, I want to make sure that this finished length is 8 inches or less. So I'll take my my cloth measuring tape and yes I'm well within that I'm well within that range so I like to actually fold the ribbon over and then poke my 
the hole through on both sides at once to make sure that they're going to be even. So I'm just taking all, the awl and I'm making a hole there. And I'm going to put my snap cap on. I placed my stud over the post and I just line that up. You feel it snap into place. Give it a little squeeze. And there we go. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And so I've put my cap through. This time I have my socket I put that in place. And I'm sliding that into place in the pliers and giving it a squeeze. And I just check to make sure that the posts are pressed down nice and flush. And there we go. All done.